Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to St. Cletus Parish on this Friday morning as we celebrate during this liturgy the returning of our students and faculty for this academic school year. They're in their second week, and so far everything is going very well, but we wanted to make sure we celebrated a Mass for them to know how much we have missed them and how anxious we are that they are back and safe and sound. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. We, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, by whom you redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When the Spirit is given to us from heaven, deserts will become orchards and orchards will turn into fertile forests. Honesty and justice will prosper in the deserts and orchards. Then justice will produce unending peace and quiet. My people will live in peace, secure and undisturbed, even if hailstones flatten forests and cities. They will have my blessing as they plant their crops beside streams and let their donkeys roam freely about. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other and forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Love is more important than anything else. It is what ties everything completely together. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ, and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. your servant is listening you have the words of everlasting life alleluia the lord be with you proclamation of the holy gospel according to matthew when jesus saw the crowds he went up on the side of a mountain and sat down Jesus' disciples gathered around him, and he taught them. God blesses those people who depend only on him. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God blesses those people who grieve. They will find comfort. God blesses those people who are humble. The earth will belong to them. God blesses those people who want to obey him more than to eat or drink. They will be giving, given what they want. God blesses those people who are merciful. They will be treated with mercy. God blesses those people whose hearts are pure. They will see him. God blesses those people who make peace. They will be called his children. God blesses those people who are treated badly for doing right. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God blesses you, when people insult you, mistreat you, and tell all kinds of evil lies about you because of me. Be happy and excited. You will have great reward in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Once again, as I mentioned at the beginning of our liturgy, this uh, celebration of our Mass today is for the intention of our school children in celebration of their return to our campus for the school year. We want to welcome all of our returning students. We want to welcome all of our new families and students who are going to be attending this school year. We welcome our new faculty members, and we welcome our existing faculty that are returning. We ask that God watch over you, keep you in his loving care, keep you safe, healthy, and well at all times. You know, we heard in the scriptures today very clearly messages about love and about justice and about peace. You know, Paul's letter to the Colossians makes very clear of what our role as disciples of Christ are really to be. We are to be a special people, to be gentle, to be kind, humble, meek, and patient, to care for one another, to watch out for one another, and most importantly, to freely forgive one another as God forgives us. Then we hear in Matthew's Gospel this morning very clearly uh, the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus is teaching his disciples what it truly means, once again, to be a faithful son or daughter of the living God. A, a great roadmap for us as we begin this academic year to follow the precepts of the good news that Jesus gives us in this Gospel today. How we can become blessed by all the things and activities we do really about each other, you know, to care for one another, to protect one another, to forgive one another, and to love one another. And we do all of those things in a time that is very difficult for the history of our world. You know, all of our lives have been sort of turned upside down. 
things are very different this academic year than they were at the beginning of last year. And then in the spring when you had to return to your homes to learn electronically in e-learning, now you are back on campus. But again, there are precautions that we're all taking very simply to keep everyone safe, to show how much we love one another. We care for one another. We want to protect one another. That is why when you're in class, you are wearing your masks. That's why you're keeping your distance from one another, to show your love and your care that the, each of your brothers and sisters in Christ are always protected and stay safe. Let us continue to persevere. Let us continue, as Paul says, to be patient as we strive through these coming months and this time in our world where many things have changed for all of us. But the one thing that has never changed is how much God loves us, how much God cares for us, how much God wants for us nothing but goodness, kindness, and love. May we dedicate ourselves this very day as we continue our journey during this academic year to be true disciples of the gospel message, to truly care, love, and be patient with each other as we persevere to learn all we can learn about the God who loves us so much. Once again, welcome back. We've missed you greatly. And it's so good to hear the voices and the sounds of children again on the parish campus. We pray that God keeps you safe, healthy, and well at all times. But once again, once a cardinal, always a cardinal. God bless you today and always. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in order to prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us place our needs and concerns before the Father. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our church, may their example help bring about peace, justice, and respect in our world, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our country and its leaders and her citizens, that we strive to provide legislation and opportunities for all people by listening to one another, using critical thinking skills and making decisions based on the common good of all people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For our parish and school staff, our parents and our students, that we follow the teachings of Jesus, love God and treat others as we wish to be treated, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That during this new school year, we may increase our knowledge of God, be nourished by the body and blood of Jesus, and share our talents with others through the Spirit, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our knowledge of our world will be enriched, and we learn to protect and respect the gifts of life and creation through our studies, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick, homeless, or suffering the effects of COVID-19, that they be given hope, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially those we who have suffered a tragedy, may they share in the joy of heaven with their Lord and Savior, who called them home, and especially at this Mass, for Delphine Maciszewski, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our own concerns for this year, as we place them in the hands of our Creator, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we place all of these needs and concerns before you, those that we have just spoken, but also those in our hearts that only you know. We do this with gratitude and thanksgiving for all prayers answered in the past. In the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. fruit of the earth and work of human hands and become for us the bread of life.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work in human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and country, our may be acceptable. Thank you, Lord God, may the sacrifice be accepted and pleasing to you, Lord our God. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we now acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Cletus and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our dear Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Once again, before our final blessing, we uh, welcome home all of our students, our faculty, our parents, our families back to uh, school this academic year. Also, I forgot to mention in, in my reflection to congratulate our third graders who have all made their first communion earlier uh, at the end of last month. So congratulations. It's good to have you at the table of the Lord in full communion. Also, let us not forget our brothers and sisters who, for whatever reason, are not participating in practicing of their faith, that our Blessed Mother touched their hearts, our prayers for them, our example, bring them back to the practice of the faith. So we pray for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send a special blessing upon our students and families, our teachers and faculty, our, our administration, and all the people of St. Cletus Parish. Bless them this day, keep them well, healthy, and protected in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another.
take each moment.